let's look at it to see is it really the same thing. So again, we want to apply it by using the same thing, right? Just like how we factored when we had two terms, and just like how we factored when we had three terms, we want to see what is the GCF. What do all three of these terms share, right? So let's look at it. What about numbers? What is it they all share? They all share a, a 6, or I'm sorry, a 2, right? A 2 would be the largest number. What about our M's? Now nah, this doesn't have an M, nor does this one, right? So we can't factor out an M. And then what about their, what about the P? No. So now you could factor just by out the 2, right? However, there's another way that we can factor this even smaller. All right, I'm going to kind of show you because you will get to problems where maybe you can't even factor out a number. But what happens when you guys have four terms? When you guys have four terms, you're going to want to write this over it. This is what we call factor by grouping. Okay? So what you guys are going to do to factor by grouping is you guys know how to factor out two terms, right? Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take parentheses and just put parentheses to break it up. So you can do two at a time. Well, let me explain. You'll get to it. Yes, but you're right. But what we're going to do is when you see four terms, I want you guys to automatically think factoring by grouping. All right? What if you figure out you can't use a number? Won't you get the same answer? Let's see. We'll do it. We'll see what happens, OK? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up into two, and let's just factor each one separately. So what can I factor out of these two? two. I can factor out a 2, and what else? M. An M, correct? So when I factor out a 2 and an M, I'm left with, um, so I factor out a 2. Therefore, I'm left with a negative, I'm sorry, factor out a 2m, I'm left with a negative 3p plus 2. Does everybody follow me with that? Yeah. Kind of doing a little bit more in my head now, rather than showing every step. Then, we look at these two terms. So what can we factor out of this? You can factor out a 6. Well, you can't factor out a p yet because 12 doesn't have a p, right? But we can factor out a 6. Um, so when I factor out a 6, and actually, I'm going to factor out a negative 6. And let me show you why a negative 6 rather than a positive 6. If you take out a negative 6 out of a positive 18, you're going to have, so if I factor out a negative 6, so if I do 18 divided by negative 6, I'm going to be left with negative 3. Negative three. So I'm going to have a negative 3p, and then negative 12 to factor out a negative 6 is going to be a positive 2. Now the reason why I did that, ladies and gentlemen, is because when factoring by grouping, you want these two parentheses to be the same. Okay? So sometimes you might have to factor by a positive or a negative number. So now, since these two are the same, let's think about it. What does, so now you guys can see you have now, you have two terms. I know these are big terms, but they are theoretically two terms. So how can we, what do these two terms share in the green? A negative 3p plus 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a negative 3p plus 2. And then when I factor out a negative 3p plus 2, the only thing I'm left with is a negative 2m minus 6. Oh, I'm sorry, positive 2m minus 6. Yes? What way would you like to go through it? OK, well, you have, I mean, this, you have to go from here to here. Wait, where do you get the that's what's left over. When you factor out a three, negative 3p three plus 2, you get left over with a 2m minus 6. OK, there you go. Nice. OK? Um, now let's look at this, Pedro. Let's go back to that problem that you said, well, what if we just factored out a 2, right? If we just factored out a 2, would we be left, would we be left with the same answer? No. No, it's going to be different. So this is a way to factor it by grouping, OK, into two terms. Now again, are we multiplying it by two numbers that multiply in? Yes. Okay, so this is what we call factoring by grouping. Um, ladies and gentlemen, 